In this video, I'm going to really push Q-Clone to its maximum capabilities and see how it holds up. So let's turn some noise on. We can see that our analyzer is flat magnitude, flat phase. Now what I'm going to do here is turn on a match EQ in linear phase. It's I've got a pro Q linear phase. Turn on the delays for each of these. Okay, so we can see that we have a pretty ridiculous uh, EQ over here, something we'd probably never use in any situation in reality, but we're going to test it out. So about 40 dB swings, we've got 20 dB peaks in the subwoofer range with a 30 dB cut here. Now between the linear phase of the match EQ and the pro Q, we end up having linear phase in the output. Uh, we already know that um, the match EQ in linear phase adds a little bit of pre-ring and the uh, pro Q in linear phase is almost unusable, but it will be useful later. Um, Let's go ahead and turn off this uh, Pro Q, which you can see is pretty much handling the low frequency. And I've got a channel EQ here that's made up to handle that. So same magnitude response, um, and we're starting to get a little bit of low frequency phase shift here. Now we don't want any of the pre-ring of the linear phase mode on the match EQ, so let's turn it into minimal phase zero latency mode. So same magnitude, but now we've got a considerable amount of phase shift here. So I'm going to go ahead and take a screenshot of this. Okay, so we know that this does not have any pre-ring, but the channel EQ does have a considerable amount of post-ring, and the match EQ was, it was the most accurate, especially in the low frequency of the ones we tested in the last video. So now, what I've done is I have thrown the uh, match EQ into the Q capture loop here. Let's turn these off for now. And then after that, I have got my Pro Q into the capture loop, but I've had to, again, exaggerate it. So here's one that's been exaggerated, and here's another one, and yet another one. So it's pretty ridiculous, and of course, it's an unbelievable amount of latency. But the result is that Q clone on the output does this. So the magnitude is matched pretty well. The phase, again, we saw that above uh, 200 hertz it was more or less linear um, and below 200 hertz we kind of have to live with the typical phase shift. Um, but again, the total latency of this plugin is only 352 samples, which is pretty incredible, I think, comparatively to the ones I've demoed so far. Now, of course, the question is how does this sound? So let's audition a couple of sounds through this EQ and the other ones as well. Okay, so I've got my oscilloscope pulled up here, and let's listen to the raw kick drum that we had from earlier. I've got a gain of 10 dB boost here to help us out when we're not using any of the EQs. Okay. Let's go ahead and turn on our original combination of EQs with the uh, linear phase, match EQ, and the pro Q. So you can see there's a ton of pre and post ring there. All right, let's put the match EQ in the minimal phase zero latency mode and let's put the channel EQ on. So no pre ring, but some post ring. 
Here's the raw. And here's that combo. And here's the Q clone. Raw. Q clone. And now I'll try a snare drum. Raw. Okay, now let's throw the match EQ back in linear phase and throw the Pro Q on. Okay, let's turn the match EQ to zero latency mode. Much better attack, none of that pre ring, even in the mid range and high. Raw. Mm, here's with the channel EQ that makes a difference. Don't really hear that much difference because it's mostly the low end it's uh, EQing and the Q clone. Q clone versus match EQ and channel EQ. They sound pretty similar to me, so it seems like the Q clone is pretty safe to use in the mid and high range, and it maintains pretty good linear phase. Um, in the low frequency, it doesn't maintain uh, as much linear phase and you've really got to do some tricks to to get it to match um, other uh, EQs that you, you know, might have as a reference. Um, and it adds a little bit of post ringing, but it does maintain the attack. There's no pre ringing, which again is amazing for a linear phase EQ. Um, and the latency, you can't argue with, pretty amazing, better than any of the plugins I've seen out there yet. But if you guys have any other suggestions, please let me know.